The mystery of space is one that fascinates us all, but on a clear night, we can begin to unravel some of the mysteries from the comfort of our own backyard. However, there are some places on Earth that give locals and tourists a much better view of the vast beauties of the cosmos. And in today's video, we're going to be counting down the best places that you can see the stars. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. To kick off this list, we're starting in Kiruna, Sweden. Kiruna is a city located slightly north of the Arctic Circle, which means that you have to be pretty serious about stargazing to visit this place. But if you do brave the cold, and make your way here, you will not be disappointed with the view. This city is very close to the Finnish and Norwegian border, so it is not remote, but it will be cold and isolated enough for the skies to be clear all night long. Karuna also happens to be a very short drive from Europe's largest civilian space center, the Estrange Space Center, which should say a lot about its stargazing potential. That makes this place so amazing that the stars are always on full display due to the city being isolated but it also is a prime spot to see Aurora Borealis, also known as the Northern Lights. So not only could you be left speechless due to the stars, you may get more than you bargained for when you also see the dancing lights of Aurora Borealis. While the view is obviously one of the best in the world, it is a bit tough to get to, as you need to take a bus ride to a gondola that takes you to the best viewing spot. I figured it would be as easy as just looking straight up while you're outside, but apparently I'm wrong. The trip may be Long, but I can guarantee that the views will be unmatched by most places on the planet. And if you are willing to make the journey, you certainly will not be disappointed. Next up on our list is Pic du Midi, France. Staying in Europe with our next pick is Pic du Midi, France. And for those of you who are fans of NASA and what they're up to, this place may sound familiar. This site was the palace that NASA scientists used to take pictures of the moon in to prepare for Apollo space flights. So if you can see the moon well enough for NASA to use this place as their regular spot to snap pics of the moon, then it is most likely good enough for you to go stargazing, right? What makes this spot so spectacular is the fact that it is an actual observatory that is perched high up in the Pyrenees Mountains, which means that there are literally no obstructions to your view. More Moreover, the mountain range sits above the clouds, so there is nothing between you and the starry night sky. This place is world-renowned for its overnight trips that can be booked so that your travel companions can camp out and sleep under one of the world's most incredible places. The only downside is that this once again is not easy to get to as it obviously requires patrons to take a long gondola trip up to the top of the mountain range. However, once there, it is very hard to beat the view provided by these majestic mountains. And who knows, maybe you can catch some NASA scientists trying their best to snap a pic of of Earth's favorite floating space rock, aka the moon. Coming up next on our list is Mauna Kea, Hawaii, United States. While Hawaii is typically known for its naturally beautiful things, they do happen to have one of the best stargazing sites in the entire world. Mauna Kea is a majestic mountain that provides one of the best natural viewing sites on the planet to see the star-filled night sky. It's located on the Big Island of Hawaii and has one of the most accessible ways to reach the summit of nearly anywhere else on Earth. What makes Mauna Kea so amazing is the fact that it only takes about two hours for somebody to drive from the base of the mountain to the top. However, you do need to stop halfway to get used to the altitude, or you will certainly succumb to altitude sickness. On top of the easy access, this location has a very unique viewing site as it is placed just north of the equator, but still extremely close to be right smack dab on the equator. What is so great about this is that all of the Northern Hemisphere stars are visible at the same time that around 80% of the Southern Hemisphere stars are visible as well. Meanwhile, that you can see roughly 85% of Earth's visible stars at the same time. Incredible, right? There are not very many places on Earth from which you can see that many of Earth's stars all at once. But it can be done at Mauna Kea. Not only can you see stars, but you can also see the bands of Jupiter and the Milky Way as well. It is truly a sight to behold, and if you have the opportunity to see it, I suggest you do. 
Next on our list is Iriomote Ishigaki National Park, Japan. If you thought being able to see 85% of Earth's stars in one place was cool, wait until you hear about this place. Iriomote Ishigaki National Park in Japan is one of the most breathtaking places on the planet. With some of the clearest skies this world has ever seen, while in the national park, there's a place where you can see 84 of the 88 constellations that are officially recognized as constellations by the International Astronomical Union. While there has to be perfect conditions conditions for you to see all of them at the same time, it is possible and will undoubtedly take your breath away. What also makes this place so great is that it was the first site in all of Japan and second place ever in Asia to be recognized as an international dark sky area which means that it has some of the darkest skies in the world, which of course lead to amazing views of the stars. If you have the opportunity to visit this place, make sure you make some free time available to visit this national park, as you won't want to miss out. Next up on our list is the Natural Bridges National Monument in Utah. This national park was the first ever dark sky park on the planet, which should give you a pretty good idea as to how great the view is here. The night sky is pitch black, thanks to the lack of light pollution, meaning that the view of the stars is almost unbeatable. What makes this place rank so high on our list is it is one of the few places that have a completely unique experience called the River of Light, which is a phenomenon caused by the Milky Way as it rises above the peaks of the park. It makes what appears to be a river of space milk floating through the night sky and is a truly amazing spectacle to behold. This can only be seen in this place thanks to its positioning on the planet as well as its incredibly dark skies. This place is constantly flooded with tourists and night photographers trying to capture the phenomenon, so if you are going to go, be ready to fight your way through a crowd. But I can assure you it is worth every elbow you throw as it is one of the best places on Earth to see stars and the only place on Earth to catch the river of light. And finally, to wrap up our list, we have the Atacama Desert, Chile. The Atacama Desert in Chile is one of the driest places on Earth other than the North and South Pole. This place barely gets any rain for the entire year, and while the dry conditions do not mix well with any animal or plant life, it does make for optimal stargazing conditions, so much so that it is probably the best place to view stars on the entire planet. This desert is so vast and so remote that the light pollution count is at zero meaning that there is literally no other light in the desert other than the moon and stars, which means that nothing will impede your view of the stars. Another amazing advantage to seeing the stars here is that there's virtually no radio interference either, meaning that the stars have nothing to compete with out in the desert. On top of this, the clear sky allows for stargazers to see almost the entirety of the Earth's southern hemisphere, stars including the Tarantula Nebula, the Fornax Cluster of Galaxies, the Southern Cross, and even the large Magellanic Cloud, which is a satellite galaxy of the Milky Way. It is considered to be the best place to see the stars on Earth, and for good reason. While it is remote, there is no light pollution. There are tours that are offered literally every day by hotels and outfitters of nearby towns and cities, so if you do ever go here, be warned it will be packed with other people trying to get this amazing view checked off their bucket list. That's all we have for you guys today. Thank you all so much for tuning in. We hope you enjoyed the content and we will see you all in the next video.